Welcome to Magic's Movie Edit Pro. The startup screen loads after the program is launched. Here you can open current projects or begin new ones. If you want to edit larger HD videos, it is recommended that you activate the option Automatically Create Proxy Files. This helps to avoid playback problems. This does not change the video quality. Click OK to close the startup screen and open the main screen of Magic's Movie Edit Pro. The media pool is located in the upper right hand corner. With it, you can access all drives and directories on your computer. You can access all media files and load them into a project by holding down the left mouse button. Easily change the order of the clips by moving them with the mouse. Use the controls below the preview monitor to play the project. By the way, it is quicker to start and stop playback using the space bar on your keyboard. You can see the movie on the preview monitor, even in full screen mode. Use the keys J, K, and L to speed up, pause, or reverse the playback of the video. The playback marker indicates the current playback position. You can move it to a different position with the mouse. For more precise editing, switch to Timeline Mode. This will give you a multi-track view of the project. You can load additional material to the lower tracks. For example, an audio file for the audio track. Set a section to be played by using the area markers. There is an additional interface for the area playback. You can move the area markers with the mouse. Each video can be cut at the position of the playback marker. Adjust the length of an object with the lower handles. To trim the image track and audio track for an object separately, create separate audio objects for the audio track. The audio objects appear on the track under the image track. Hold down the Alt key to trim the image track and audio track separately. To move all objects in one track at the same time, switch into mouse mode for one track. Not only can you access your media files in the media pool, but also the transitions, titles, and effects. You can, for example, change the brightness and the contrast of the video with the video effects. Several transitions are available for scene transitions. Drag transitions with the mouse to a transition between two objects. In order to add subtitles or opening credits to a video, open the title directory. Drag subtitles to a track below the video. Adjust the text directly in the preview monitor. You can change the font settings with the title editor on the right. The title object in the track can be shortened or lengthened using the lower handles. When you are finished editing, you can export your project for various purposes. To do this, open the dialog Finish Movie at the top right. The option Export as Video File will combine all media files, effects, and titles into one video file. You can then upload the video file to an online portal or share with a select number of friends. You can also burn the project directly to a disk. To do this, switch to the Burn Program area. 
You can then add a start menu to your project and burn it to a DVD or Blu-ray. The easiest way to do this is by selecting one of the start menu templates for your disk and then burn your disk in the desired format. The electronic PDF documentation can come in handy if you have detailed questions. The integrated program help makes your search process targeted and efficient. In most cases, the F1 key on your keyboard provides you with direct access to help on the topic in question. Our exciting online tutorials provide thousands of professional tips and tricks and introduces you to many interesting related topics. Text Notes provides you with instant help on the most important user fields. Enjoy your movies. The Magic's Team.